it was this year. Very, 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 very weird. Very weird. Weird and bastard. Well, you tell me. All right. Well, we set the mood. We set the mood. Bodie is riled up, and I. Oh, by the way, I, I, I gotta make sure I'm seen. Hey, I wanna. I wanna show you guys my my, my shirts here. Uh, we've got uh, we got hidden Kami, and we also got. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna hide this logo for this this label here for a second here, because I want you to see. I'm looking for the triggers. There we go. 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 Look at that. Commie symbols, man. What the heck? What the heck are these dudes doing with commie symbols on? Ah, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. So you're riled up. I'm fucking. I'm. Woo! You're I'm pretty wound up. up. And you've got, you've got some issues. Wound up. You got some issues. I'm just facilitating your own demise. I mean, I'm helping you make a good shot. That's, <laughs> that's I'm why not that I'm drunk. here. I'm not that. I'm not even that drunk. No, no, I I didn't mean it like that. I just meant not like last time. You're probably gonna confess. I'll, I'll that remember. You're... I'll remember this one. Okay, you're probably gonna confess that you're a commie this time, though, right? Hey, you should tilt your uh, thing up a little. You're you're cutting the top of your head off, man. It's not good, man. It's not good, man. There you go. There you go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Now you put it back down. You had it up, but then you, you, you let it low back down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a teaching, a teaching hospital. This is a teaching hospital. This is where commies come. Is that, to is that better? Yeah, I guess. You know what? I'm going to have to adjust it. You, you, you go with your rant, and while you do your rant, I'm going to go oh, fix wow. you. Oh, wow. It went lower. Yeah, I'm anyway. Gonna fix you. I'm going to fix you. The amount of fear you, around sir. ideas and people who hold them, rather than fear of the individual and their actions, is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. If someone like, say, Dave Painter, Dave Painter of Seeds of Liberty, go check him out and, and follow his stuff, um, he often claims that the state doesn't exist, yet he will cry, cry about cultural Marxism as if it's some oppressive machine that is totally foiling all of his plans of objectifying the entire world in his small box. I like objectifying things. I like objectifying things too. I'm a big fan of objectification. But when that becomes your limitation and you can't even think outside of it, you're just a scared little babby. You're just a little lamb. You're just a little lamb. Did you're I just spooked. Did I just you're call spooked. Dave a lamb? Dave Painter is spooked. He's a spooked. He's a spooky spook. He's a lammy spooky spook. But I love Dave. I do. I love, love Dave. Dave. I love Dave. But man, is he fucked. I hope you guys are not triggered because of what we have behind us. I'd like some feedback on that. We got commies. I, I don't know. Let's see. I, did I get it right? Let's see. Commies. Yeah, I, I think I did accidentally. Commies are on the left. Nazis are, Nazis on, the are right. on the right. That's right. So if I'm a righty, you're a commie, and if I'm a lefty, you're a Nazi. Or and, and even within the anarcho whatever world, apparently there are anarchos who see commies everywhere and anarchos who see Nazis everywhere. I mean, they're on it, they're on all sides of uh, whatever. As far as I'm, of the as circle. far as I, as far as I'm concerned, it's two sides of the same turd. It is. It, it, and, and and most how 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 did we get back into this left right paradigm? We just came out of it. <laughs> we were right. building up to the elections. Everyone's right. like, yeah, the state doesn't exist. All this stuff is your imagination. We don't need this. The sides don't exist. We need to work together. Right. You got good. And then Trump gets elected, and all of a sudden, fucking Marxists everywhere. You got good night alt right, and you've got uh, uh, helicopters for commies. That is the right. Those are the competing perspectives. And actually, you and I, we're both friends with folks that kind of... I mean, they edge on both sides. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're friends. And I don't know why. Right. I don't know why. Right. It drives me nuts. Hi, Chris Fulmer. A symbol is not your enemy. 
A word symbol is, is not, not your, your enemy. enemy. And it has um, no power. Oh, let me, fact, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that logo up again for the, or that label up again. There you go. Words and symbols are powerless without you. Boom. There. Put it up again. I took it back down. Because I like seeing the commie shirts. <laughs> I like seeing <laughs> I am not a commie, by the way. I have no love I'm for not commies. a commie. For actual commies. I, I have no love for actual commies. There's a whole bunch of people that people call commies that I, I love. And uh, I have no love for actual Nazis. But there are some people that I know that somebody would call a Nazi, but they're, they're not Nazis. There are some self-identified Nazis yeah. in my friends list. There are some self-identified commies in my friends list. And then there are people that call themselves ANCAPs that are just really, really confused. Well, you've got confusion in all of the hyphen worlds. It's not exclusive all of the hyphen, to ANCAPistan. All of the hyphen. It's... That's where anarcho-bootyism even came from, because it's all about that booty. It all, it, it, right, booty booty is the uniting factor, in, unless, unless you're asexual. Because if, if, you then... don't have a bo- if you don't have a booty, your ideology is going to die within a couple generations. And so that's good. I mean, <laughs> probably, you need a booty. if you have an ideology without a booty, it's good that you don't, because you probably shouldn't <laughs> propagate your own kind. Does that mean? Does that mean? I, I want to get more vim and vigor. I, I was expecting something yeah. bigger. Come on, dude. Give what me, do you mean? Give me uh, what what triggered this? Because because uh, actually we're on here because I, I saw your Dave painters. Facebook I was post. on Dave Painters. I was on Dave Painters post. I was I was talking with Ty, and this whole cultural Marxist thing comes out of the freaking woodwork. And you know what? I got some beef with Ty too. <laughs> oh, Ty, because Ty has a tendency Ty, to do the other Ty, thing. The other, the opposite. Right, right, exactly. He's like, he's like, yeah, man, this cultural Marxism isn't a problem. Actually, it was coined by this guy. Blah 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 blah. And it's like. Who no, cares? you're doing the word thing. Right, you're, doing you're doing the, the word, word thing. thing. You're, you're justifying. Stop. You're right. Stop. Cultural Marxism is what the I, I want. Well, how do how do I word this? Because uh, you and I, we get in all kinds of discussions with folks over language. And oh do my we want to go here now? Do we want to go? Yeah. In? Do we want to dive this into the, the... language? People are clinging to these words and the definitions. They're trying right. to find some objective rationale for the way they prefer things. But but they're thinking that what you are saying and I am saying, and, and you know, Bodie and I, we're independent of one another. I yeah. come back. I come from a postmodernist perspective when it comes to language. So the fa- one of the reasons that Bodie and I get along is because we kind of see things in that way, kind of. Similar. We both uh, hate words. I I do not hate words. I love words. So oh. uh, screw you. I what? hate rigidity. <laughs> That's what I hate. <laughs> but I don't yeah. hate definitions. I no. I recognize the usefulness of definitions. If I didn't, I wouldn't be speaking to you today. But what I don't recognize is absolute. That's some people's. That's some people's. No absolute checking. definitions of words. That's well, some people's attempt at a checkmate Again with and me. again. Oh, yeah, well, if you're communicating with me right now, right. that can't be true. A, a, it's like, e, a, e, salmon. S- a, what, what salmon. Salmon. Fish, salmon. Fish man. Fish man. You're fish, fish man. man now. You're, fish you're, man. You're, he's addicted to the uh, the. The well, brownies. he's an author. He's addition. Actually, he's I, bought, I bought his book, and I'm really. He's actually out there. To, uh, let's give him a book plug. Let's help him out. I can't remember the name of his book. Oh, uh, it wasn't a good title then. No, it, 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 no, it's, it, I'm not. Oh gosh, no, it was a it was a book that traces the origins of of basically of white supremacism, and uh, I might be horribly butchering your book. A, e. I apologize if I am, but. I mean, actually, it looks like a really fascinating book. But I, yeah. I personally love language. I, I, I'm, I was, I'm a poet. I'm a writer. I, I love, yeah. love language. As a matter of fact, I get, I, maybe I love, I love words. I get seduced by them, you know. But, that explains our relationship. No, it doesn't. No, there's nothing. The word seduced does not, in any way, shape, or form, describe any part of our relationship. It's, it's just. Sorry, dude. You're going to have oh, to okay. move on. What happens in the cabin stays in the cabin. Nothing happens in the cabin. <laughs> nothing except I say, hey, where's the flashlight? That's about all that happens in the cabin. That is the extent of it. But That's what headlamps are for, buddy. But, but, but I understand uh, that language is not finite. No, it's they, not. Why do, so many people use it as a cage, and they want to have this cage match within their own little world. So we want and to they get, can't think outside of so it. So we want to get to cultural Marxism. 
And whoever coined yeah. the word and whatever meaning it meant, if somebody says to you, I am opposed to cultural Marxism, your first response should not be, no, you're not, because cultural Marxism doesn't exist because it was invented by this dude at such and such a time. And this is what it means that that's this not, doesn't exist. No, you asked him. Oh, yeah. well, what do you mean what by you cultural mean? Marxism? <laughs> and by the way, right. would you say, as I am, I think I'm, I speak for you. Would you say you're all for defining terms? Pro-defining terms. You want to have a conversation. For, I'm all for people being able to define terms before proceeding in a conversation. What happens to me and drives me fucking up the wall is when they define my terms. Right. When you use a word that they believe has to be used a certain way and you say, well, I'm not using it like that. Well, that's not what the word means. And well, uh, yeah, you're appealing to an authority. That is an <laughs> ultimate logical fallacy. Guess what? I can use logic too. And half of you nitwits fail at using your own logic system. I like you're logic. That it's fun. I'm they're not that good at dumb. it. But... And they're that afraid of words. Well, I believe that... I, I see that the, the, the right that is supposed to be objective, and they hate the left, and they hate these liberals, and they hate this um, feminist, whatever, and all this, whatever. They're doing the exact same thing by claiming objective value. They're not at intrinsic all. Intrinsic value They're, they're not the word. same at all. That's not... That's not... No. It's the same argument. No, it's not. Words hurt. No. The, and they have this defi the, definitive meaning. When I say right and left, understand that I'm I'm talking about United States of America. Cons I don't know how many times I have to say this, but I always feel like I have to because I, I don't believe there is such thing. We have right a global audience. I don't believe there is such thing as right and left. But when I say right and left, I am referring to the American understanding, the common American understanding of right and left, which is a myth in and of itself. That's another story. But yeah. But there are differences between the camps that say they're left and the camps that say they're right. Especially, right. especially when it comes to language. On the right, what you have are folks who, who I'm going to argue, they want certainty. They want absolutes. They want solid ground. I mean, this I, I have this tendency. I want this too. I wish that language was finite. Yeah. I, I, used to I, be don't like, I don't like not I having used to solid be that, ground. I used to be that insecure. Right. So you you look for... Now, now let, me, let me continue here. So you got on the right. You you want to be able to define the world by words which are implacable, which are unchanging. In part, I think it's also from this idea that you have of the Constitution that's unchanging and inflexible and, you know, the original spirit and intent of the words that are put on a piece of paper like you would actually know fully what the original—I mean, to a certain extent, you can. You can look at a lot of things to figure that out. But then yeah. you have what you have on the left— the left understands the inherent malleability of language, and they use it as a weapon. Okay. They, they absolutely – and this is why you get folks on the right that, that, that re, whenever you suggest that language is malleable right away, you know, commies equivocate. That's what I mean. I was called a commie because I equivocate because I, I actually recognize what is true. I don't want <laughs> language to be malleable, but it is. That doesn't, but it is. That doesn't mean that I want to play the commie game. And the commie game is, uh, and when I, I'm, 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 and I'm just, again, I'm just using American paradigms here. Uh, the, the, the commie game is you take a word like uh, racist, and what you do is you hold on to the negative connotation of racist. You know, I'm a, I, I, I'm a, I'm a pariah. I need to be kicked out of. I'm. I'm I kicked out of uh, decent uh, uh, society. I, I I can't even be considered as someone that you would even talk to. But at the same hand, the leftists are going to go ahead and they're going to change the word because they understand something that the right does not understand. While the right is arguing and saying, well, no, racism just means, you know, discriminating against uh you know, right. somebody based on their race. Look, it's in the dictionary. And the left They'll is like, hey, man, we understand perception is reality. So we're going to keep saying that racism is this, which is that it, it, you can only be racist if you're part of the, you know, the, the, the culture that's being oppressed. If you're white, you're racist pretty much. And if you're right. anything else, you can't be racist. They're just going to keep saying that. Well, you get your dictionary. They're going to keep making it real. 
is what they're going to, because you don't understand what they understand. Language yeah. is malleable. And yeah, they're doing dirty tricks with it. I, I mean, maybe I, from my perspective, I'd say dirty tricks. I don't, I don't. They're dirty tricks. I, but I, I, I don't like the left. I do. I, I can't. I loathe them. Okay. I, I loathe them too. Absolutely loathe them. Most people don't know I was a libertarian. I used to be a Republican. But but if you understand, <gasps> well, you used to be a Republican. So did I. I used to be a Democrat too. But that's another story. <laughs> I, I went all the way around the world. Uh, but but if you understand that language is malleable, when the left comes up to you and says racism is this and this and this, you say, well, to you it is. <laughs> racism is this to me, and I'm going to proclaim it from the mountaintops that this is what racism is. I'm not going to run to the freaking dictionary for my and validation. I'm going to say, hey, I am going to influence culture in a way that they recognize that racism is this, which is uh, discriminating against someone based on their race and their race alone. But mm -hmm. if you don't do that while you're looking at your dusty dictionary, they're making, they're, they're, they're singing songs and they're creating art and their uh, media is uh, doing all the stuff that they do. And, and all of a sudden, you know, 10 years from now, you're going to look in the dictionary and guess what? It, racism is going to be defined like they said it is. <laughs> Boom! You know, boom, <laughs> boom. So they're they're fighting a losing battle because they don't understand the warfare, and they're getting mad. And they're getting mad. And when you're just trying to point out the reality, which is that language is malleable, it's also, I, I I made an analogy, which no none of the folks that have been I mean, going after me over language addressed. I I made the analogy that uh, that language is uh, it's a path that changes. But it's not a path. It's not like a mercurial path. It just changes quickly. It's, it's, it's like geography. It changes slowly. And sometimes you have upheavals where something happens dramatically, but generally it changes slowly. So I'm not saying today I can call a cat a dog. I mean, I, I can mean, do that. I can, you as can, an individual, you I can, can choose to do that. But if I want to effectively communicate with people around me, I'm going to have to decide the degree to which I want to change language for myself and the degree to which I want to communicate with others. Thank you. Boom. Boom. And I think when you understand that, life is a lot more realistic. And you don't have to get so mad when someone uses something the way you don't want it to be used. Yeah, exactly. You, you can't own a fucking word. Yeah. The dictionary and these linguistic experts – are not in authority. They are observers. They have a certain level of standing. Well, some dictionaries have more certain, than others. They have a certain level of respect. That, well, standing. That you, you look standing. at them and you say, okay, I trust that this dictionary is representing common use definitions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's all that dictionaries do. They tell but you, if, well, if, no, they if, do two things. So, go ahead. If you go back 60 years and pick up a dictionary and look up the definition for virus, it, it's, it's not going to be what it is now. Yeah, try to find the word meme. Meme. Yeah. What's a meme? What's a meme? Well, and actually, just, go back go back, go back, 10 years and look for the word meme. Actually, the word meme existed 10 years ago. And it isn't yeah. what it is now. Totally. Nope. In fact, the first few times I started Most using meme, they're like, you know, that's not what a meme really is. I'm like, is now <laughs> <laughs> tough shit. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, it's like uh, uh, was it uh, personable? Uh, yeah, personable. What did what did personable? Personable used to mean. Uh, oh man, now I forget. Ah, uh, uh, well, but see that happens too. You can forget. Yeah, yeah, you could forget, right? And and that's another thing. He's like, even even if like a whole bunch of people know what a word is, if I don't know the word and you're using it for me, and I think it means something, and I'm not saying anything, you're telling me something that I'm not even like, you know. Yeah. So First, then what? Go ahead. It, 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 this is the problem because uh, a lot of arguments become semantic in nature and not about the ideas people rush off to their dictionaries it's like no no western right. says this no mirror you know what i, I don't know all the dictionaries i but. literally look at it as they're going and grabbing their pokemon cards <laughs> and they're having a, no my dictionary look, this did it first look, this did it first this right. did it first this did it right. first huh. well let and, me look at the etymological root see this is the etymological root of the word blah 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 that's like the what word i'm trying anarchist yeah 
Nobody it's owns fucking, that word. Nobody. It's so when ridiculous. you say you're not an anarchist, what does that even mean? What you mean is you're not your per, per particular idea of an anarchist. And it, and if you get, I won't say two anarchists together, but if you had a room of, I uh, say no, no, I probably no more than five if, anarchists before you start if, hearing differences. If, if no two more. anarchists could leave their mother's basement, I've done that occasionally. I, 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 it, it's I a jab. Right, I know. I, I run right back in, though. I do. Yeah, I, I do, like, too. I get out of mommy's basement. And I'm like, it's cold out here. It's cold. Dude, it's 95 degrees. The world degrees. isn't nice it, to me. They it, didn't it, read the dictionary. Yes, uh, they, that's right. They didn't. And, and, uh, I mean, the left, the, the left they're, they're playing a game. They're not, they're not seeking after truth. They're seeking after uh, uh, creating a battlefield that they always win on. That's what surprised Absolutely. me. Absolutely, and the That's right what... is is falling right into their hands. You're falling into the left's hands, you folks who call yourselves on the right. You're falling into the left's hands when you deny that language is malleable. What you have that... to face is that language, it's a, it's a part of it's a part of a culture. It's a part of a people group or people groups or variations, uh, and and you're you're going to boldly proclaim no, no, I don't care what you say. This is what yeah. these words mean to me, and I'm going to proclaim this meaning to everyone, and I'm going to do what I can to exert my influence so that this definition wins the day. Right, and you're not going to do that by calling people commies and threatening to throw them out of choppers. No, no, you're not going to do no. that. No. Look, look how well it worked out for McCarthy. Nor are you going to do that punching Nazis. Nope. I mean, it's not it may work. feel good, and 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 I'd I'd be willing to bet that only one out of maybe twenty people that you punch are actually Nazis. The yeah. others are are a little bit confused, and they're probably have some degree of fear that uh, they feel like they they have to by any means necessary they got to hold on to this this identity, this tribe that yeah. that that they've climbed onto, whether it's the white tribe or the Western civilization tribe or. And I think a lot of that comes because um, they literally have troubles giving themselves giving themselves value. They resort to the external world to find value for themselves. And thus they try to project their biases to confirm their own value because without it, they have nothing to stand on of their own. They have no spine. They and have no spirit. They have no soul. They 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 they, re they rely on this external, quote unquote, truth, when they ignore the truth that's within themselves. And I suffer from this uh, uh, from time to time. I, I I'm sure Bodhi, you do too. We all. Oh yeah. We all suffer because uh, I mean I'm I'm not. I mean I I like to pretend that I'm supremely confident and all that. I'm really not. But uh, I'm. You'll see me on Facebook tomorrow. I'll pretend I am. So screw you. Uh, and I'll deny this. I'll say no. This this was the fake part. <laughs> none of it's fake. It's all real. It's all Ooh. a show. You know why? None John of it's fake Smith. and none of it's real. It's all a show. John Smith just drove a nail right in the coffin. Right, Those John. rigid definitions are a part of the social contract. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Boom. Boom. Hey, if you're for rigid definitions, you should love the social contract because you know the social contract is. It is what it is. They've defined it in a way that you're part of it. No matter what, you're part of it. You're born into it. You're They've born defined into it. it that way. You cannot deny it. You cannot escape the the absolute meaning of the word or the phrase social contract. Social contract. You're in it, buddy. You're in it. You're in it you're to in win it, it man. Because, uh, you know, it's not really about logic and reason and preference. It's no. about the definition of words. Because until you apply... A personal value, a subjective value, a subjective interpretation to logic, all your logic can tell you is if something is logical or not, not right or wrong. Right. Logic speak doesn't have anything to say whatsoever about value. There, there is no way to arrive at morality through cold logic alone. I'm sorry. No, there isn't. And the UPB is, is didn't bullshit. get there either. The, the UPB is uh, kind of a a bit self-referential it's you know if it's if, circular I mean, logic well li li what's the word preferred preferred, preferred. so so it's what do you mean by preferred it. it's like okay I, 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 so majority percentage... rule social contract right, oh right, my god right i mean it's Holy well shit. it's it's a form of uh of ex i guess uh upb might be a form of uh of of extreme majority 
rule. So you have to have an extreme majority, but it's still democracy. It's like, if you get like, what is the number? 95%, 98%, 90%. Where do you draw what that What is line? the number where you're looking at like, well, 90% of humans uh, prefer this, so therefore, you pee If 100% tax is slavery, what's 99%? <laughs> I, I don't even oh, know. shit, it works every way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And they say nihilists detonate their own argument. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> And I'm not a nihilist at all. I'm, no, I'm actually, me neither. I'm an absurdist. If I, I, I'm actually a Christian, so I have. Yeah. <laughs> weird, I mean, yeah. I I have my absolute. Uh, I I believe in absolute truth. I believe in God's truth. I just don't believe that uh, we are very privy to uh, knowing exactly what God's truth is. There's plenty of things that we can know and understand. And uh, you know, if you if you want to if you want to put it in a purely cynical perspective, let's just say, let's just say, you know what? I prefer to frame my world around the concept of a Godhead that provides structure and stability. Just say that I do that. Who 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 are you to tell me that I'm wrong for preferring that? Right. Right. <laughs> It really you, only you, know, you, know, you have no logical or reasonable uh, uh, justification for telling me I'm right or wrong. I mean, you could tell me, well, logic and reason will show that God doesn't exist. And it's like, well. It's like, no, it actually no, can't. No, but, but no, even if it but could. Yeah. Even, even if, if it, could. it could. It doesn't matter because doesn't that's matter. what you fucking believe. Right, right. I, I prefer, I mean, I, I don't really, this is not how I view my faith. I'm just being a, literally a devil's advocate. Ah. But. But but really, you you can't tell somebody un unless uh, I mean unless that person's belief is going to do something to harm you directly, and I don't mean indirectly. And I guess this kind of takes us back to to individuals act. Individuals act, and it's the action that I'm interested in. Yeah, not so much the beliefs. Because uh, it doesn't matter if you're left or right or if you believe in, in, in this paradigm or that paradigm. The problem isn't what you believe. The problem is that you're both using those to justify violence. Yes. You're and, looking for an excuse to do violence. You're and, a violent piece of shit. And, and don't get me wrong. You're, 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 uh, you're, you're entitled to think that something justifies violence. I don't care. Well, I won't say I don't care. I, it's not cool. I'm probably not going to want to associate too closely with you, uh, but until you take action, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't. The minute fucking... that you take action, that's when I have a problem. Until then, if you're a freaking commie or a Nazi, I, I mean, an actual commie and an actual Nazi, whatever that means, <laughs> whatever that means, whoever's defining it for that culture in that time and that space. Uh, whoever the actual commie is. For me, I'll say if uh, if you are uh, uh, somebody who who actually believes that uh, you need to seize violently the means of production and uh, 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 t have a have a period of time where a small group of people takes absolute control over everybody's lives to 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 navigate everyone towards stateless communism. I probably don't want to have a lot to do with you. The key no. part of your problem is that you said violence. You're justifying violence. But but until you do it, I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to, you know, if you start, like, gathering in groups and you start, like, doing more stuff, I'm going to pay attention. I'm not stupid. I mean, I'm going to pay attention to what you're doing over there. And I'll probably have a couple spies in there with you, but probably I'm probably going to arm myself ahead of time and encourage others to do the same. But I'm not going to preemptively go over into your meetings and start bashing you upside the head Be if you if you haven't if you haven't taken that initiation of uh, a force against me or somebody right. else or a cat. Well, no, if you take initiation against a cat, I'm probably cats are jerks. Cats are jerks. I might laugh and then be like, "Hey, that wasn't nice." Hey, I know. I, I you know, actually, I I say. Cats I actually, I watched the and video. they really are. But if I saw, I love animals. If I saw a cat, I'd yeah. love a cat. I wa I watched a hawk actually um, choke a kitten out over a chain link fence. Like, the kitten was dead. Oh no! It was dying. Oh. And the and the guy filming it was from the hood, and he was narrating the whole thing. It was beautiful. Oh, you didn't see it live. I didn't see it live. No, sorry. I was gonna give you street cards, like, oh man, you you seen the you seen the or you seen the reels. You seen the reels, man. You got that thousand yard stare. 
but right. you don't. You don't. I don't have that thousand years stare either. Thing. Have you ever watched a cat get strangled by its own body weight? I have. I have. So don't talk to me about having your house bombed and your parents killed by my water filters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put our label up here again, just so everybody gets the message here. Words yeah. and symbols are powerless without powerless. you. Language is not science. Language is not physics. And you, you actually had a problem with that when I mentioned that. Do you want to get into that? Uh, yeah, because science isn't anything. Science is just a method of ascertaining some semblance of reality to utilize it to do work. It changes. Science is Our basically understanding this, of the it, universe due to science has constantly changed over time. Science is basically the scientific method. That's all it is. That's it. But so science when you, is not when you an like like when you hear them talking about well the scientists say you know the scientists say you know well let's look at exactly how scientists are funded these days and what you're gonna find is it, it's very who 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 funds the scientists really really large corporations or states. You think that the they're just, thing. I mean, I mean, the minute that a scientist decides that they're going to do an experiment on something, that part isn't science. That's preference. <laughs> the only as, science yeah, as part soon as you is set up. Right. As, as soon as, as you they, set up an experiment, you've already influenced. Yes, because you've decided that this is worth examining and this is not worth examining. <laughs> right. Right. Basically. Yes. So. The only part of science is, is is to the degree to which you are able to stay pure and true to the scientific method. That part of your experiment is science. All the other parts are, that's that's human preference. That's Hold on, we got we got a we got a question from Ryan Mick. Ryan Mick, who's Ryan Mick? Ryan M C. Uh, should we not use etym etymology to understand language and its usurpation? Throughout history, example, liberal radical revolution. Revolution has been usurped to appear linear. Etymology? I mean, you can look at it. Sure. It, read it read gives the you sentence again. Because uh, it sounded like you said, uh, I thought you said bugs. Et bugs? Etymology, right? Etymology, yeah. Okay. Etymology. Go ahead. Say, say the sentence again. Should we not use etymology to understand language and its usurpation? Usurpation. Oh, throughout I, history. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes. I, I'm just saying you, you, that, that, that's, but that's it's, one, one aspect of, I'm going to put good... this in quotes, of knowing. <laughs> and it's not an absolute knowing, but it, it helps you huh. understand what it is that you were trying to understand within the framework of your preference. Right. Within, within the context of whatever culture, too. For sure. And, yeah, when I... When I want to, you know, if I'm it, reading, it will help you understand what someone is saying. Yes, it will not help you determine it, what is today. Yeah, or what, what is today. No, I'll say it. Well, actually, to a well, degree, it can help you understand what is today. But what yeah. it can't do is tell you what should be. <laughs> Correct. It can only Correct. Tell you, it can help you understand what is, but it can't tell you what should be. There is no should be in language unless you're you. Uh, if you start off with this preference i prefer to be able to effectively communicate with other people then now within that framework of uh preference which is the preference is i, I actually want to communicate with people then then you can start talking about what should be we should have as much as possible as as much as possible recognizing that there are serious limits to that as much as possible words that we have a, a, a general mutual understanding of so that we can communicate. So therefore, it's, it is good within that framework of preference. It is good for us to understand the words that one another, that each of us is using. But we're not going to have a dictatorship where Bodhi and I are having a conversation and Bodhi decides that uh, communist means anybody who... Uh, and anybody who's not an anarchist is a communist. That might be Bodhi's definition. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't accept that definition. And so if we're going to have a conversation, we're going to use the word communist. He and I, we're going to have to come to some common understanding, even if it's just for the sake of that conversation. Yeah. And I mean, I, he could walk away and still say, I don't care. I'm still going to use the word that way. And I'd be like, I don't care. I'm gonna but within that conversation, if we're going to have a conversation, 
We need to understand. And what, what happens a lot of times is um, people don't agree, and they're not even arguing about that disagreement. They're, 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 not, they're not trying getting to, to find the, They're not ground. getting to the root. They are just repeating what they've – they're just regurgitating they're, someone else's idea. They're, they're not developing anything new. They're not forging any ground. They're not doing anything. It, it, it's it's useless. It's they're playing. They're they're playing. Uh, 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 word. Uh, uh, I'm gonna word. say they're playing word salad. L uh, uh, they're tossing each other salad. They're tossing each other. Well, uh, they're they're playing logo tug of war. It's my word. It's my word. <laughs> it's my word. It's like logo over here. Logo over here. Logo over here. And that's all they. And then at the end of the day, they both walk away from each other, saying, "Boy, that guy's an idiot." <laughs> and they haven't changed any understanding of one another, and they're just holding on to their words. Words, I mean, it's it's. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an old axiom that says, uh, "Your greatest strength is also your greatest weakness." Language is one of humanity's greatest strengths in helping us to understand one another. It's also our greatest weaknesses <laughs> in understanding one another. Yeah. Well, here we go. Ryan's Ryan's chiming. He goes, I hate that, though. I'm a capitalist, and I know capitalism is liberal because I read it so. But today, they are socialist. And now, yes, you can hate that. Yes. But what you must understand is that the word capitalism and the way it's being used, the way it was used or whatever, is actually irrelevant to your actions or, or how you actually are. If you just believe in a free market and that's what capitalism means to you, you might kind of want to find a better way to talk about that idea because you are stuck in the social context that you're in. And if you're trying to communicate your idea and that word's not doing it for you, find another way. But, I, but I've seen this conversation. I've seen this conversation multiple times with that particular word. And oh, yeah. I've seen the inflexibility on, on, both, on both sides of this, these debates uh, that I've seen. Ty Agananda and Dave Painter are a prime example. Right. Ty will not let you use the word capitalist the way you want to use the word. Correct. Neither will he goes Dave. back to history. Neither will Dave. <laughs> Neither will Dave. Rather than uh, say, rather than coming to another. So when you describe capitalism, what you're saying is this. When Dave describes capitalism, Dave means an unregulated free market. Now, you can look at the history of capitalism, and I think it's... It's pretty obvious that the history of capitalism reveals that's not how that word's always used. Even the origins of the word, the very origin of the word didn't come from that. But it doesn't matter. Many doesn't people matter. now, I will also say, especially among conservatives, they use capitalism oh. and they will define it to mean an unregulated free market, yet they will advocate for regulations in the market so they are living a freaking lie yeah. they're actually using capitalism in the more classic the textbook sense of the, term. the school textbook definition of capitalism includes regulations to secure a free market secure a free market that doesn't make kind any fucking sense isn't it? it doesn't like, make any sense well you know uh we want you to be free range and in order to do that we got to put this fence around you because <laughs> otherwise yeah. it's gonna get uh, crazy see, but at least See, you're not in a tiny pen. I think Ryan's starting to get it. He's go. He goes. It means laissez-faire, obviously. Obviously. Colon P. Colon P. Uh, okay. Obviously. Obviously. Obviously to you. He's, he's obviously joking. to you. Oh, okay. 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't he hear got. The he tone. has. He has the colon P. Oh, the the. Yeah. The, uh, and then what about emojis? Emojis. You want to talk man. about language? Yes. Holy shit! That's a holy whole other new of language. Holy Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. Oh. Yeah, like, language isn't just words. Absolutely, language. Oh is, my god, language I, is community. Yeah, and it's a, yeah. I actually, I'm I was into something called verbal visual poetry, which is uh, mixing uh, uh, visual elements with poetry. Uh, and uh, I wrote a I wrote a piece, a theory, a piece. Of, I don't even remember all the details of it anyway, but I was actually theorizing as far as the printed word was concerned you theorized i did all the time i i, I cleaned up afterwards so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i was wearing an adult diaper at the time too so there was extra protection while i theorized but i was oh, theorizing and i was i was i was theorizing within the context of the the word as a visual element that 
there's 26 letters in the alphabet. And I was saying, no, there's more than 26 letters in the alphabet because the space between words, I mean, between letters, it, it has its own implied uh, meaning and understanding. I, I, I went through a whole, it made more sense at the time, but uh, it, it got published. So that's all that matters. It got published in a verbal visual poetry magazine. And a lot of mm -hmm. people liked it. So, so yeah, I, I pursued, I mean, I was in my twenties. I was younger than you actually. I was like 24, 25 when I wrote this. So I've, I've always been looking at the malleability of language. It's one of the reasons that I love words so much. I love yes. what, what John Keats describes as uh, negative capability. And negative capability, it's, the, it's not the, the, you know, the, the, what makes the bowl useful, what makes the bowl have its utility, I've told you this before, Bodhi, is the space, yeah. it's the empty space. It's the and space that's between. what I love about language. It's the empty space within language that, that you, can, you can create a bowl, so to speak, a sentence is a bowl, and other people could fill it. Now I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to get into. Fill know, my bowl, baby. Dada. Fill my bowl. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get into complete like Dadaistic, uh, random non nonsense. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I I like that element. I, the well, very thing that I yeah. love about language is what I know. Well, I say the very thing that I love about language is what prevents me from ever resting certainly and surely in any definition that anyone comes up with. I recognize yeah. practically. Go ahead. Which is why I embrace that empty space. And I, I, you, I embrace the empty space. You embrace it more than I do, but I do embrace it. And now I... I you're certainly not afraid of it. We've gone down oh, some no, rabbit I'm, holes. I'm definitely not afraid of it. Uh, I remember I, having I I talked I had to talk to you into the wee hours of the morning. For what? It was so cute. I never remember that. You don't remember that conversation? What conversation was that? Uh, I don't remember. We went down. We went wow! Down you don't even remember. Rabbit hole. We we go down rabbit holes. It happens. But it's good when you can do that with people. You end up learning more about yourself. You learn more about the other person, and you find better ways to connect and produce and work together and by the way and communicate i mean and when you and i first met the amount of words that we had in common was probably <clears throat> no i mean we had a certain amount but oh. <clears throat> yeah maybe but, but but now we have more in common but you know the yeah. interesting thing is he's going to change as a person his perspective is going to change and i'm going to change as a person if we go through periods of time where for one reason or another i'm not communicating as often with him oh, then that that's going to it's gonna it's gonna shrink a little. So yeah. the next time I talk to him, we're like, yeah, some of our shared language we don't have anymore. We kind of lost it. But that's kind of the fun part is finding it. Maybe, unless you don't or like not. them. Unless you unless don't like you don't the like person. <laughs> that's unless not you don't fun. Like, unless you don't like their face. Right. If you don't like their face, then you're not gonna like the words. <laughs> 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 generally speaking. Generally speaking. I don't know if you have anything more to add here. I think I think we've. Uh, no, I think this is good. This covered this covered all the bases. And the reason this is on your face is because all of this is from Facebookery. This Face, is, this is Facebookery. When you dare, uh, I mean, I, I put out, I put out stuff all the time, and and you know, you you call it trolling, and excuse my language here, shit posting. Uh, some some I, I like to have fun, so sometimes I like to have fun, but but a lot of my quote unquote trolling is. I'm actually seriously interested in in seeing what people are going to say. I'm not playing with yeah. you. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I am trying to understand something. Mm -hmm. There's very few thoughts that I have in my head that I utter and I say, nailed it. Nailed it, buddy. You got it. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm going to be... Fact, I, I shared I shared today my one of my first designs. Observations are not destinations. Okay. Do you care to elaborate? You, you remember that? You remember that design? It's on my wall. I, um, I do, yes. But it, it basically, it, it is all about that negative. It's about that negative space. It's that we can make observations. We can see the world the way it is. But that's not where we stop. Yeah. Now, I see a certain usefulness in my life for creating a certain level of destination that Bodhi right now is not interested in having it in his life. But I recognize that the destination part that I put in my life, it's 
it's not a hundred percent real, dude. It's a and I'm okay with that. It's a preference. It's, it's like I find it useful to establish some degree of destination in how I think. It it keeps me structured to a certain degree, and I enjoy structure. I yeah. I find it extremely useful for me to be able to well to 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 really be able to build to do the next freaking thing yeah if you don't have a foundation you can't really erect any structure you can't actually build upon it you can't even put up a facade yes but it, i mean it's like a, it's a, a duality because in part uh i recognize that i've created a destination that's not entirely real and the fact that i know that it's not entirely real and i'm not by the way i'm not talking about my faith i'm not uh but oh excuse me but i recognize <laughs> the or the fact that i recognize that my destination is not entirely real it uh it keeps me from becoming a slave to my destination. My destination right. is is serving me. And if and when my destination no longer serves me, I'm much more easy. It's, it's much easier for me to let it go and change destination. Because the destination, in a, in a sense, the destination really, it, 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 my end goal is not the destination. The destination no. serves a poor purpose, which is for me to. It's a, it's a target. As much as possible for me to live the kind of life that I want to live on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And if the destination doesn't work, then daddy changes the destination. Because we have that power. To a, Yeah, to agree. I mean, none, none of us is all powerful in that way. All of us have certain things that even subconsciously that, you know, we're not fully self-aware. No. <laughs> and that's if you, why. If you were, it would be very distracting. Okay, heartbeat, 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 right, right, heartbeat, right, heartbeat, right, heartbeat, right. heartbeat, deep yes. breath, <gasps> heartbeat, right. heartbeat, heartbeat. And I don't want to be uh, cognizant release of my heartbeat. Release the enzymes, release the yeah. enzymes, yeah, digest, yeah. digest, 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 poop. Yeah, but there are things beyond that that, that we're not even aware <laughs> of that, 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 that control us. And you'll just like, something will trigger you. I mean, I have ex experience. Oh, yeah. Something will trigger you. It's like suddenly you just totally lose it because somebody has has existentially assaulted one of the things that controls you. <laughs> I tend to do that to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, you're Mr. Triggers. I'm Mr. Triggers, and I don't even mean to be. I'm just talking what I think and what I – they're my opinions. I'm not an authority. Yeah, yeah. And it just bothers people sometimes, yeah, and that's I'm, fine. I'm not an authority on anything. But, I mean, I, I've had, I have uh, – what's his name? Um, John Cotta. Mr. John oh, Carter. Oh, John Carter. John. Never even had a conversation with him, and he's blocked me on two accounts. That's how afraid he is well, of you ideas. You, you can't say that he's afraid. You, you, you can't say that. You, you are assuming. You're, you're questioning motive and intent in a way that you really can't know. You can say, I have a strong I've seen suspicion. His, I have a strong suspicion based on his argumentation that I've observed from my third account. Um. <laughs> uh oh, John! One got away, John. That he is full of insecurity and he is grasping at straws on his limited ability to understand reality. Uh, there, he, he, I don't think he has a limited ability to understand reality. We all do. Yes, but that didn't sound like that connotation was a bit demeaning. So that's fine. I don't like him. Okay, then that's fine that you don't Your like face. him. I actually like him. Uh, and I can't believe, John, that you haven't blocked me. I'm glad you haven't, but <laughs> we've got. By the way, I'm Bodhi discussion. Agora, Andrew Marich, you know, the guy you blocked. Yes, yes. You never talked to. I'm sure John's not going to watch the show. I mean, the title of the show is like, nope. Trigger, Trigger, Trigger. Oh my gosh, nope. he said Nazi. Oh, he said Kami. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm He'll okay get... with the Nazi. No, I'm just kidding, John. He'll get through the intro and then just his head will. <laughs> oh, with the, uh, the uh, Strange and the Agora. Smack my bitch. Oh, and then right Bow. after that. Yeah, I think that's a great. That was a great introduction. That was a great idea. Paul. Fantastic. That guy, Paul. He's that's a great awesome. idea, Paul. I'm I'm so glad I have your DJing skills and your your your. <laughs> I don't know what to call I, it. I have no DJing skills. 
No, you don't. Neither do I. I could develop them, though. I bet you I could. Cause I'm you pretty, could. I have a musical ear. I could probably. I should really bring the controller. I, I write to, music. Uh, so. We should go. Yeah. Yeah. You do write music. I do. Tweet, tweet. That's 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 mean. That's harsh. I'm going to I'm going to do a, a good version of that song. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about. I have a song called Tweet Tweet Song and I never got the vocals synced up with the other part. It sounds terrible. And uh, it's I got I got I I, I, ever to. I I had terrible equipment at the time, but uh I Hey, at least you tried. I got better equipment now. That's why usually that's why I wrote so many instrumentals for a long, long period of time cuz I couldn't get the vocals to match like I just got to write instrumentals. Is tweet in the dictionary yet? I have no idea. Shit. You know what? Hold on. There's so many words that we use and use to communicate oh, that on. totally blow the dictionary out of the water. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, where's my... Okay. There you go. Got it up here. We're going to look up Tweet. Webster's Dictionary. Let's see. Survey says. Survey says Twitter definition of tweet. Uh, a chirping note. Oh. A post on Twitter on the Twitter online message service. Wow. Multiple I, meanings. Yeah, well, it, originally it was just a chirping, you know, a bird chirping, mm, whatever. M -m -m multiple meanings. Oh, see tweet defined for kids. Tweet defined for kids. Wow, nothing. <laughs> oh, wait, no, okay. Tweet noun, go. Tweet, no, I'll go to tweet verb. Tweet verb, chirp. Tweet noun, a chirping sound. There you go. Chirp, chirp, so, chirp. so as far as kids are concerned, Twitter doesn't exist according to Webster's. <laughs> so there you go, folks. See there that? you go. Language <laughs> is malleable. Boom. There Boom. you go. And tomorrow, if Twitter goes away, there may be some etymological uh, memory of uh, of what tweet used to mean back when they had this thing called Twitter, this this uh, microblog. You know, Twitter's a microblog, by the way. Yeah. And uh, uh, so they, I know oh, you're you going to have to define I'm, that. Right. You're going to, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not going to define it. Uh uh, but you remember, they used to have these things called microblogs. Microblog? What's a microblog? Well, that was something that was on the internet. Internet? What's an internet? Well, Al Gore invented it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's language, uh, folks. And that's language. It's like yep. when you tell me that language is not malleable and that I am a freaking commie, that I am equivocating by acknowledging what is. It tells me. I'm not going to say for sure, but I strongly suspect that it tells me that you are afraid of standing on your own preferences. Bam. Boom. Oh, that's ruthless. And I'm not afraid to stand on my own preferences or to admit that these are preferences. I'm acting out of preference. Got no problem with that. It's nothing wrong with preference. And I got, I got tons of preferences that I could probably argue most people have. Maybe even ninety five percent. If I could figure out the ninety five percent, that's my UPB right there. Yep. There you go. Yep. Absolute mob rule, not mob rule. Absolute mob rule. Absolute. <laughs> when we you get the absolute part of the mob, which is we're going to define it as ninety five percent. Anything that you could find out that ninety five percent of people want, then mm -hmm. that's that's that that's it. That's right there. You're locked in place, buddy. That's your morality. That is your place. absolute morality. You got it. You nailed it. Locked in place. So we got anything We're, else to add here? Words are not cages. Be free, my friends. Oh, oh, let me let me put that up again. The 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 label here. Smack my bitch. Boom. Up. Words and symbols are powerless. Oh, let me play just a snippet of that. Hold on. I'm just gonna play just a snippet. Wow. I don't want to play too much because I don't want to get. Uh, 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 nuked here. Here we go. <laughs> I do not advocate for, for, 
for uh, smacking uh, your bitch up. <laughs> I do not advocate for that, but it does seem to be. I do want to say a couple things here before we uh, leave, and I'll give Bodie. You can say what you want to as well. Uh, obviously, you can. Uh, I am going to be speaking at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, which is in Denton, uh, Delton, sorry, Delton, Michigan, June twenty second through the twenty sixth. You can go to MPLFest dot com to find out more information be sure you register so you can see me i'm going to be speaking sunday at 1 p.m whatever date that falls on within that 22nd to 26th thing and uh, i'm going to be speaking about power the nature of Ooh. power and uh in my in my theory well i always say there's no rule of law there's only rule of power and that's what all of this is going to be about it's unfolding that statement there is no rule of law there's only rule of power yeah, and if you want me to talk about something, please let me know. Come up with a topic, yeah. and I'll try and get a spot. And, yeah, try and get I, a spot. And I uh, love I love speaking in front of people. If you can't and, tell, and if you talk, I'll record you, and if I talk, you'll record me. So oh, I'll record like everything. A, we got a mutual uh, recording thing, and uh, if you want to find out what Bodhi does, you go to napod TV. And sure. uh, I don't know. Do you have? You don't have something like I have. I have no. is. I have is TV dot me. And if you want to email me, you can email me at PG at is TV dot me. Or you can find me on Twitter at Paul Gordon tweet. That's right. At Paul Gordon tweet. How original. But Paul Gordon was taken some punk. Some I think a musician or somebody was named Paul Gordon. That's probably you. No, it's not me. Probably not you me. in a past life. It's no. I don't. I don't have past lives. This life. Etymology of Paul Gordon. This all encompassing, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I won't say that. All right. Uh, do you have any? Uh, where else can they find you? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Radioagora.net is my YouTube channel. Radioagora.net. Hey, did you ever uh, get your uh, your URL? No, I haven't changed it yet because oh, I still dude. use it. Well, I have to update the redirect and everything. Oh gosh, you're so lame. It's going to take a no, while. No, I don't think you do. I do not think oh. that you do have to update the redirect. Uh, that oh, cool. that long URL still works. All right. Little known factoid. Little interesting factoid. And on that, I am going to say good night. Good night. And farewell.